Hey guys, welcome on TG and I'm being Sarah and today we're going to play Outland, a game by Mountain Cheap. And we're going to discover the wonderful but very very strange universe of Outland. First I need to tell you that this is an early access, it's an alpha, so it's pretty much a very beautiful frame but there is a lot of content which is lacking. Even if the game is just pretty, it looks like it's finished but it's not, so beware. So guys, what is Outland? Outland is an open world action RPG, so it's pretty much, if you know Cube World, it's a bit similar, not 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 exactly in the way you move, in the way you you discover the land, but there are similarities. The game has a very very specific and cool art style. It's something which just caught my eyes at first sight. I just I just wanted to see what it was in game and it's it's definitely very very beautiful so we're going to, to begin a new game so I can show you how the universe is arranged and how the combat work or we'll see how the faction works I need to speak about the faction too so let's just begin a new game so here we go we'll just begin with this little guy I don't know if there will be character customization but I hope so we begin with the most beautiful weapon we can get, a fork. I just love the little details. And we are in a little town, which is truly beautiful. And what I really love is that when you advance, instead of just loading the textures, they are just putting the, these on, like it's just being mounted on a hole. What was that guy? I saw somebody running. and. As I was saying, there is a lot of factions in the game, and what's pretty interesting is that these factions are mainly at war. So we can see goblin fighting, skeletal, humans, or it's, and, it, and you can just take advantage of these. I'm going to destroy these barrels because I need to get a few carrots to survive. There is a bit of anger, and if you don't eat, you are going to to lose your stamina, and you won't be able to fight as well and you won't be able to carry stuff because you can carry most of the things which are in the way. I can, I can just carry the, the bird if I want or I can carry the, um, the chicken and let's just take a look at this village so we've got a villager which are going to give us quests not this one but most so let's speak to this little something it's a skeleton with a chicken head so he wants arm, so maybe the best way for me to get arm is to kill this little pig over there. And every, I think every season wants, wants something. She wants a sugar wand. And this guy here, what does he want? He wants two ghoul brands, so I need to kill ghouls to complete this quest. So for now it's pretty much very easy quest, like you know, kind of FedEx quest. But it's only the beginning. I'm just getting these because, you know, buy. <laughs> and fish? Nah. So let's just. Uh, can I take it as a weapon? It would be just pretty cool. So let's check the inventory. So these are the all the slots you can fill. And uh, I've got two fish on me, so can I. I can use left weapon. It's not going to be very efficient. Can, maybe I can just remove this and use it as a um, main weapon. No, I can't. So let's just take my silver, silver fork again. And we'll see what you can do with this fish on my second hand. Oh, I just ate it, okay. Can I get the... nah. Anyway, let's just attack this pig with my dreadful weapon. The combat is a bit slow, but when you have a, a shield and you are parrying stuff, it's much more interesting. Plus, you will be able to dodge. I hope I'm not going to be killed by a pig, it would be just damn sad. Uh, so let's we'll just get the arm. And we're going to go back. I think we, we need to talk to this skeleton guy. So he can give us something. Where is he? Uh, oh, here he is. And then we'll get out of this village because I want to show you a bit more land. No, I don't want to carry you, sorry man. And what is he going to give me? Money? I did not pay attention to that, but... Oh, basic shoulders. We'll need these. 
cool. And I think every item you use is going to, to be seen. That's a pretty cool detail, but it's not always the case. So let's get out of here. Look at these clouds. I love how they look like. I think there is... Oh, I'm going to just show you the magician because these are just pretty fun. Look at this big guy here. Come on, talk to me. You want mushroom pie and loot. And got big nose. <laughs> and, and a wonderful hat, which I could probably sleep in. Okay, let's see. What does this guy want? He wants a wizard earth and the book of magic. And it will give me 1000 gold. I'm gonna check it quickly because I don't know if, I w if we can climb the. Yeah, we can climb the ladder. So we can see a bit better around. So there is a village which is just there. Not that big, but it's big enough. And around, you cannot see much because it's a bit far. But I'm going to go that way. If I can, okay, let's just. Ouch! Okay, it was the worst idea I could have. I don't have so much life, I think, and just jumping like that was a bit dumb. So we are going to advance. I would like to provoke fight between factions so I can take advantage of it. Grab a sword or something like that, because with my fork I will not be able to... Oh, come on. I want the, the apple. Not the barrel for now, but... Oh, that, oh it's human. Okay. You can use the bush to hide. I'm not sure it's, it's super effective, but it's fun to see at least. So what is this guy about? Okay, these are the guards. So maybe I can use these guys to... What's happening here? Watermelon, eggplant and two potatoes. See FedEx a bit. But, this is only the beginning. And you can carry most of these items around, like the rocks, but you've got a stamina, let's not say bar, but you've got a stamina meter down, down the window, which is going to tell you if you can lift stuff or not. Each item is just... It's just going to be... Um, they are just going to take into account the, um, the weight of the item. Oh, so here we are. We are in the um, Sandium. Oh, and this is not a good idea to just jump over there. We are going to... yeah. There are bones over there. We are going to, to see these two guys. I think there's probably something to do here. Yeah? Coconuts. I can find these. We're in the desert. I should be able to do that. And ten apples. Ah, uh, I should have destroyed this barrel. So let's just go for the coconut. Maybe I can make them fall? Maybe not. What is that? Oh, I think maybe we are not far from the um, skeleton place? No. Desert village. So cool. A good violet babies. Can I break these? Yes, I can. What do we have inside? Money. Cool. It's a bit like in... Oh, no skeleton everywhere. I cannot go there, except if I got some kind of skeleton mask. This is a skeleton village. So as I was saying, it's a bit like in Zelda when you just break stuff around and get money. Same, same, same way here. The combat is a bit like that too. Got mushrooms. Oh, apples. Yeah. I think with these apples I should be able to... to finish this quest. And there are pumpkins over there. I love the fact that when you just hit the barrel, you got apple from it, but you... you don't need to break completely the barrel to... come on get apples. I'm not very <laughs> agile with my fork. So I'm going to go back. I should have 10 apples. I'm going to check that first. So yeah, I've got plenty, plenty of apples. 
and I think this house is there, so it's a bit dark, and I don't have any kind of torch, but with um, the moon, which is going to rise, we are going to get a lot more light. It's, it's a game which is never really dark, which is very, very cool. And let's complete the qu this quest. Here we go. So, she gave me a coin, which is not what I like the most. I will definitely need to... Oh, I've got the pig mask, so I can just show you how the faction works. And I've got the chicken mask, mask also. Okay, let's make the chicken mask. Alright. So now I've got the chicken head. And if I meet chickens on the way, they're going to follow me. And I would say that they would help me in a fight, but only if they are in danger. So, this is the time where we need to find... Oh, look at this thing. It's pretty cool. I want to go a bit closer. It's pretty cool. And you can't destroy it. Or maybe I just, I'm just, just don't have enough range. Oh, more coconuts. Let's grab these. Maybe I can get something from the... from those guy. I just need to find a few more. How much do I have? I've got... Four coconuts, so I need four more coconuts. Let's walk around, I should have missed a few. <laughs> what is very cool with the mask is that when you are wearing one of these masks, you, you cannot be attacked by people from your faction. So if you want to go to the goblin village and you have the goblin mask, you are alright. Same with every, every faction, and I'm sure these guys are even going to help you if you are in trouble. So, six. And... Uh, where are the other one? Shouldn't be four. This is not the same house. What does she want? Here we go. Ten apples again. And what is that? Is it the key? We'll need this key to open chests which are giving you a bit of, of loot. These are always full, and sometimes there are there are little chests in the big chest. <laughs> this kind of thing I just make me laugh. Oh, this is uh, not a good place for people to... Oh, I think there is a bit of light here. What is it about? And we sh Whoa. We should find... Oh, look at that. I think undeads are fighting goblins. So maybe if I just show up after the fight, I would be able to loot a bit of stuff. But here I think the goblin is in trouble because there is too many of these guys. And... Uh, oh, there is a goblin chief. So maybe we should be fine. But I think the goblin is going to attack me, so I'm doomed. I will come back just... I just need to find some some kind of weapon. I cannot handle these without any kind of weapon. Oh, two more. And a big skeleton, which is just not in this town. I should just go back. I think any any NPC which are just similar are going to give me the same quest. So maybe if I just find another old woman, I could just complete this quest. Uh, I think there are two of these guys downstairs, yes. And I should not have jumped like that. Anyway, let's talk to her. I, she wants the ten apple, and he wants coconuts. And he gave me... what? He gave me nothing? Maybe money. This is not what I needed the most. Okay, I'm going to go for a quick red when the light is back. Maybe I should not put the mask on because I'm probably... Sh <laughs> human are a little bit less weak than chicken, so maybe I will not be such a target with, without this mask, I don't know. So let's take a look. 
I think I've seen a chest, and this guy, I will not be able to defeat him. Am I? But he did not see me. Oh, another one. So let's try to, to go and get the chest. I don't think they can see me from that far. Let's unlock it. That's a small key. I'm going to get it back. I just threw away the chest. And what do we have here? There's another... another... Um, pieces of gold which is just a bit further, but... I really need something else. Oh, I've got these brains, which could be... helping me to complete a quest. I'm pretty sure I need two. Oh, 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 oh. Don't go there. Not a good idea. Don't... Oh! Shield, pretty cool. Axe. Lots of money. And where is my second brain? Let's go with um, the goblin axe instead of the fork and the goblin shield instead of the nothing. <laughs> and do we have a goblin mask? It would be cool. No, we don't. Okay, so now we've got a weapon and a shield. So it's pretty much a bit like Dark Soul. Maybe not. But let's say it is. And let's explore a bit. I know I can't beat these big guys, these big goblin guys, because I've been trying to blow them up with explosives. And I will achieve that maybe in another demo, but all the terrain is voxel, so you can destroy it. And with explosive you can just modify how it is. I don't know how much they're going to use this feature, but I would really like to see them just allowing us to modify the terrain. Because if there is something I, I like in indie games is that you, most of the time you can have a true impact on your surrounding. Oh, who's that guy? It's a fine weather. Okay, no quest. It looks cool. So let's go a bit further. Oh, there's a road here. And do we have more more chest around. I've, I'm seeing something just rolling down there. It's... oh, there is a, a well? Yeah. What is there in there? Fresh water. Cool. Can I use a bucket to get a bit of water? Nah, not yet. Maybe, maybe later. There is not so much information on the um, on the page for the game. This is why I was so eager to try it because I really w wanted to know what it was about. And for now, it's just a pretty pretty cool open world action RPG. But I would really love to see what we are going to get next because this is the early beginning of the development of the game. And even if it looked like a finished game. There's a lot of potential here, and... Oh, look at these guys. I would like to find one of these guys, but alone, so I can just... Show you a bit more... Ouch! Of combat. And... Because uh, I know these are a bit tough. And I would like to avoid dying right now. Oh, this one... I think I can pull him to me. Come on. Come to me. There is a boar. Uh, I'm going to go that way. Maybe the boar is going to help me. Not sure it's friendly, but... Hey, uh, hey, come on. Ow, this one is tough. Do they come in... Nah, they are just not reacting right now. I'm going to try to attack him again. And... Uh, no. You need to be careful because you can't go into combos. You need to make them maybe attack. And when you, when you have an opportunity to eat, you just go and give them a few blows. But you don't want to stay in front of them because they are dealing a bit, a, a bit of damage. And if they are dealing too much damage to... Oh! What was that? 
I think I pretty much got something of a, a lag or something like that. And I was in front of the enemies when I was not. So I just died. It's not it's not a big deal. I did not have so much. So this is how you die. And when you just click on restart, you are going to go back to the city. And you'll need to find a bit more stuff. I don't know if it's going to be like that in the in the full game, but we'll see. Let's show you a bit more of this town. There are merchants which are going to sell you stuff. This one here, and he's fighting with a uh, with a gun. So I'm pretty sure we can, we can expect gun in the, in the game. <laughs> and there seems to be a, a lot of different weapons. This one is going to fight you with <laughs> kitchen stuff, and I saw sieve stuff. This one is. He is carrying a, a sword, but he could be carrying a dagger. I've, I've seen a, a few daggers, and his, his art is pretty cool. He just won a magic book. So this is definitely rock stuff. We've got warrior stuff. I don't know... Oh, there is music, maybe, in the game, because we can see there is a banjo here. Maybe there won't be, but maybe it can be used as a weapon. I don't know. I love the fact that all these house and and trees are just going up when I advance. It's just so cool. So maybe I'm going to load a different game so I can show you the faction. So let's just do that. I'm going to return to main menu and we are going to go for a different kind of simulation. So we've got a faction combat and Rotman chicken battle. A lot of these. So I was in Ireland which is at 24% of the development, so you can imagine that there is much more to come. And we're going to go for faction. So I can show you a bit more how the masks are working. And maybe a bit of uh, explosives too, because I like it. Alright, so here we are. It's a little map in the desert. There is a lot of coconuts. I'm going to grab a few, not to, because I don't want to die from, from anger. Alright. And we've got a shield and sword. And there is three factions here, humans, goblins, and undead. So let's grab this one too. This just should be locked, yeah. And we're going to grab, not the mask holder, but I would like to get the, um, the chicken mask. So let's just do that this way. So when I get the chicken mask, I could just put in my guy. And we're going to see all these chickens are going to follow me. So I've got pretty much an army of chicken. And with these friends with me, we're going to go and attack maybe a few goblins. So come on guys, come with me. I think you can have pretty much all the NPC following you. You don't... there is no limits. You see, I just attacked this guy. Oh, come on guys. Don't try to kill me. I'm not... I'm not in me. What are you doing? Okay. Okay, I'm going to remove the mask because they are going to bump into my back and prevent me from looting. Okay, so let's see. We've got more goblins here. And there is somebody which is fighting them. No, oh, there is a chest. Oh, the key is here. I think the goblin which was carrying it just died. And we're going to use these two masks. It's pretty much walking the same with every kind of NPC. And here we've got... Um, oh, let's put my ghoul mask on. So I'm not bothered by the ghoul over there. And as they are giving me goblin stuff, I think maybe to be invisible with them, I need to carry the same equipment than, than they do. So here we've got a ghoul which is not going to attack me again. And we're going to remove the rock here, so we can get get out. And maybe we're going to make some kind of a fight be between these these guys. So I'm going to re remove the rocks which are just at the entrance here. And I don't know if I'm going to lead the goblin to the ghoul or the contrary. It would be a lot easier for me to to bring the ghoul here. 
because their leader is not going to be stuck in there. So we are going to create a combat between the goblins. Where is the axe? Here is the axe, okay. The goblins and the undead. So I'm going to try to pull all these guys. Come on guys, I'm here. Come to me. I hope I'm not going to be killed like last time. Alright. I've got three. Three is not bad. But they're not going to follow me, are they? Come on. Okay. I've got one. <laughs> okay, just bring them one by one. Come on. Come to me. Am I not interesting enough? Uh, come on. Hey guys, we've got company. Fight. I'm going to bring another one. And let's... Come on. Come to me. Hope he's not going to kill them all. No. You can't leave. Come on. Come with me. You're not very friendly with me. Come on. Oh, there is... I think it did kill the other one. And there is some cool weapon on the ground, so let's just grab this one. I won't do that. No, no, no. I need to freeze the, the entrance. I want to grab the, the wand. Okay. We are going to get the majestic key. No, I'm not going to carry the tree. I'm going to put it at the entrance so maybe I can just lock it for oh, a while. I, I'm going to be able to open the chest. And in there we've got... Oh, skeleton. I just forgot about that. Come on, leave me alone. I'm going to bring these guys to the human. They are pretty... And let's remove this because I want to have a bit of help. We are going to go with the snake wand, which, which is pretty tough. And the standard shield. Cool. And do we have more than that? No, we don't. And I think there is no guard here, so maybe it's not a good idea to bring them here. Oh. Okay, down. I can... No, I cannot put the skull on, do I? Skeleton sword. And come on guys, don't run that far. Okay, it's down. See, this one is just pretty efficient. I don't think we've got magic in the game yet, but I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll get some. Ouch. Seems to be painful. And <laughs> look at this. What is that? <laughs> oh, this is the brain. The brain is just bouncing. Ah. Okay, this is pretty, pretty efficient. Can I put the helmet on? I think they recognize me, which is not good. Night is coming. I should just wait a bit because. Oh! It's going to be very dark soon. I'm going to use the villager as decoy again. Come on, guys. Ah, uh, it was not, not a good decoy. And the jump! Pretty cool. Most of enemies should have just. lost me with. Uh, Oh, I think I... no. He lost his, his shield. I did not lo lose last mine. Ow, 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 ow. Why did he lo Oh, he lost his... His chest plate. This is how the level of the enemies are handled. There is... Enemies which are just pretty... common, and they just put very good equipment on this. And most of the um, progression of the game is going to be handled like that. They are going to itemize, if I can say so. 
So we can just make your character progress without needing to, to level him. It's time for me to use a bit of explosive, I think. We lack explosive. So I'm going to maybe let it here because we'll see a bit more. Right, let's just do that. Here we go. Look at that. It's going to explode and we are going to see a bit of terrain getting blown up. So you see it's pretty pretty efficient. And all these guys are just dead. I'm going to try to use the block. I can't carry these. It's a bit bit too big to get up this thing. I'm going to get the key, get the staff. And let's open this one. What do we have here? Uh, coconuts. Small treasure. This is what I was thinking about earlier. And we do need to carry the chest if we want to see it better. Okay, let's just remove this one. I don't need this one anymore. Our glass. I don't know what it, this is about. I should just try it. Our glass. Uh, it's going to be into the left weapon. And we're going to use it right now. Are we? No, we can't. It's a bit strange. I don't know what it's used to. But what is very cool is that we can just have the shield and a weapon. So can I maybe just use my steel dagger now? They've have been a bit overpowered. So we're just going to keep this thing locked. And we'll need to get the key. I'm pretty sure one of the of the good over there should have the key. No, just brain. And here. Let's be careful because these are tough. No key for me. Okay. Let's have a coconut. I'm going to get this helmet because it's pretty cool. I love it. How it looks like. Looks like some kind of conquistador. Just love it. And we can open this chest too, I think. It's a large key. And we got a large another large key. I think there is probably a bug with the helmet because when I put the helmet on I cannot grab anything else. I just need to remove the helmet to grab something else. Which is a bit strange. To get the coconuts, no more elm. And I think we've seen pretty much all of this hair elm. But still, as I'm lacking, yo, I'm lacking a key, so maybe I should just get in there and try to kill this big guy. So we can. Oh, there's magic. No, magic key. And it's going to hurt guy. But as you can't turn, I'm going to take advantage of this. I could, I could carry him somewhere else. No, 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 no. You're not going to attack me, I'm too weak to get... Oh, this is going to be pretty helpful. Oh, 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 oh. let's get out of here. Too much goblin here. Nope. I should just put my mask on so I can... This one is terrible. It's not even re really a wand. <laughs> it's just a weapon of ultimate destruction. And we do have something here. What is that? A skull. Okay. If I remember right, the game is supposed to have crafting, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, I just... What? But not at the level of a Minecraft or something like that. It's just basic crafting. Good. Barrels. And what do we have? Do we have the last key? Got a lot of arm. I don't know why, but this guy is just throwing up arm at your face. He is not really attacking you. Lots of stuff around. I don't think I can find the key here. 
I'm just going to go and talk to the to the main guy. Maybe I will have done something they need. Croissant, cake, pie, and beer stein. Okay. And what do these women want? Oh, it's down. So what did you get me? Except for money. Alright. Maybe my quest is done, but I think I need to bring in some croissant and uh, I don't think it's a good place to get croissant around here. It doesn't look like a shop. These are full with what? With apple maybe? Yes, with apple. So we're going to try to destroy this barrel. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty efficient. Okay, just ate an apple. I think it's pro probably automatic. When you need to eat something, it's just happening. You just need to have it in your inventory. And... Where is the last chest? I think I left it in the... And um, place. So I'll just need to get in and see if I can open it now. I think I don't have the key. Maybe it's on the ground somewhere. I just missed it. Which is the shame. Oh, maybe over there. There is a bit of coin. No, not there. I could attack the human too. But it's not, it doesn't seem... Ah, who knows. Anyway, it's a cool little place and I love the, all the effects we've got. Light effect and all these things. It's giving a really beautiful look to the game. Look at all these. It's only a, a demo Harry Apple, so... I'm going to try to do something. I don't know if there is going to be combo, but... And, oh, we can already dodge. I don't know that, but I, I think it's with R. And we can only dodge towards the enemy. Or maybe there is another touch to dodge backward, but... For now, I think I can only dodge with R. And dodge in front of me. Or in, in the direction the camera is, is looking at. Anyway, let's just take a look at something else. So, we are going to, to go for a bit of fight, and I will end this video with my death. <laughs> it will be a lot easier. So I need to talk to this guy, and he's going to not tell me anything. I just need to go in and try to fight this guy. There is a lot of explosive barrels, so I need to be careful not to, to swing a bit too close to these. I just took a hit while I was just hitting the ground, so what are we going to find? Oh, one more. Come on. No, no, no. I need to be careful. I don't want to lose my shield. It's going to be probably my only way to save my my poor head from these guys. Ouch, ouch, ouch. No, try to... Oh, he lost his, his plate. And this is when I can... I'm going to fight him in front me here because on with only the wall around it's just going to be a big handicap here. I've got a dagger. No. Come on guy. It's not it's a kind of fighting which just lets you think about your next next move. Oh two of these guys, it's not good. I love the fact that they are just going to eat each, eat each other. Oh, let's see that. Let's finish him. Good. Is the sword I got better than the one I had? Oh, look at this guy. 
got a big shield and a pretty decent helmet. I'm going to try to use these as... All right. Oh no, there is another one, I think. Maybe not. No, there is two other one. Come on, guys. You just don't want... Oh! I think I'm dead. <laughs> okay, it was a bit my fault though. So guys, it was Ardand. Thank you, thank you for watching. And if you want to see more, just tell me in the comment. See you.